Hello everyone, David A. Cox here with PCClassesOnline.com and today I wanted to produce a short video for all of you to show you a really simple way to keep your passwords secure. Now if you've gone through our videos whether on our website or on YouTube, you may have noticed that we have never produced a video on any of those password saving programs. And that is not an accident. The reason why is because anytime you are giving a program access to all of your sensitive information, you better believe that that program is going to be the target of many hackers that are out there who are just looking to get it. So this trick keeps your passwords on your computer and in your possession. It's also kind of cool that it's relatively old school. So let's go over it. I'm going to show you two tricks for how to do this. One way is going to be especially beneficial to Windows users, the other for Mac users. So let's get started. Now Windows users out there, almost all of you I'm sure have Microsoft Word. If you don't, you probably have something very, very similar like Evernote. And this trick that I'm going to show you works with basically every document program out there. What we're going to do is we're going to create a blank document and in that document you are going to put all of your usernames and passwords, which may not sound very secure until you add the next step. So let me just put in something here. I'm just going to put the word passwords, okay? But here you would put a list of everything, your email, banking, etc. Now when you're done creating your list, here's what you're going to do. You're going to go to File and you're going to click on Save. Now if you are on a different version of Microsoft Word, this process could look ever so slightly different, but the process itself is basically the exact same. Here under Save, you should see a little box that says Options. We're going to click on that. From here, you're going to click Show All. And now at the very bottom, you'll see we have a padlock icon that says Security. Now, when entering a password in right here, what this means is that in order to make any changes to this document or even just to open it, you are going to need to enter in a password. This can be whatever you want. There are no requirements. It could be theoretically something as simple as tapping the spacebar. So I'm going to actually do that since we're just doing this for demonstration purposes. When you're done, you're going to have to click OK and it's going to make you enter that password twice. So now we're back on the save screen and another tip I wanted to give you is don't ever name this document your list of passwords. Instead you should name it something so incredibly boring that no one in their right mind would ever give a care. And frankly there's nothing out there that is more bo boring than poetry. Sorry if I get hate mail for this video at least I know it's all going to rhyme and I'm sure that will be very entertaining. So now you can save this document wherever you want. In my case, I'm just going to save it to the desktop. And so now you will see up here at the top uh, right of my screen, we have a padlock icon and a document. Now if I try to do a quick preview to this document, you'll see it will not do it. And in order to make any changes, I have to type in that password. So by doing this method, even if your computer was stolen by someone, they still can't get access to your saved passwords in this document. So that's how you do it in Microsoft Word. Next what I would like to do is show you how to do the same thing in a more popular program that a lot of Mac users use called Pages. So here we have the latest version of Pages. You can actually see I just did a little update. We're going to create a new blank document just as we did in Word. So we create our list of passwords. And here, when you go to File, you don't even have to go to Save. You can see right here under the File menu, we have an option to set a password. Let's do the same thing. You can even add a little hint if you like. I would not recommend checking this box here to save the password in your keychain. The reason being, if the person who stole your computer knows the password to your computer, they'll be able to crack it. So I would not check this box. I would put a hint so that God forbid if you forget it, you can at least give yourself a little reminder. Hit Set Password, and now when we go to save it, save it to the desktop. I'm of course making that fatal flaw of I am naming it passwords, but hopefully none of you will do it. You can see here we have the exact same thing. Just a really easy way to keep your passwords secure, and I do recommend printing it out every now and then. Keep it somewhere secure. Don't keep it just you know under your desk, but put put it somewhere maybe a safe or hidden somewhere where people wouldn't think to look for it. 
This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com. If you've never heard of our service, we are a completely free organization. We are open to the public. You can take our live classes, no charge of any kind, on our website at PCClassesOnline.com. One final thing, if you happen to be watching this video on YouTube, if you click that little like button at the bottom of this video, we really do appreciate it. That's all, everyone. Take care.